liftoff of the Space Shuttle Discovery with the Hubble Space Telescope on the window on the earth. Did you know that one man can change the world with just one discovery? Well that man was Edwin Hubble. November 20th, 1889, Edwin Hubble was born in Marshfield, Missouri. Growing up, Edwin Hubble was a great athlete. He loved playing sports such as baseball, football, basketball, and he loved to run and track for his high school. Hubble studied at the University of Chicago after high school. He studied law only because his father forced him to. After his father's death in 1913, Hubble decided to change his majors and study in physics and mathematics. In 1917, Hubble received his PhD. 1917 saw the US enter the First World War. Like many of the male population, Edwin Hubble volunteered into the army. He was assigned to the newly created 86th Division, the Black Hawk, but never saw combat during World War I. After the end of the Great War, Hubble went to Cambridge University to further his knowledge in astronomy. In 1919, Hubble was offered a staff position at the Carnegie Institution for Science's Mount Wilson Observatory. This is where Edwin Hubble began his legacy. Around the time Edwin Hubble was hired at the observatory, the brand new Hooker Telescope had finished construction. The Hooker Telescope was state-of-the-art when it was first introduced in 1919. This would be the instrument that Edwin Hubble would use to change astronomy forever. Using the Hooker Telescope, Hubble was scanning around the vacuum of space. In 1922, he noticed a particularly bright and large star in the cosmos which could not have been in the Milky Way galaxy. This is something that intrigued him because it was something never before seen. This was the object in space that Edwin Hubble had observed. This object was a cepheid star. These stars are used to determine distance by their size and how much light they produce. This is the Andromeda Galaxy, the Cepheid star that Edwin Hubble was looking at. Right here is the exact spot that Edwin Hubble was looking at through the telescope. Determining the distance of a Cepheid star is quite simple. From Earth, if a bright star is small, that means that star has to be a lot farther away, and vice versa. So if a bright star is bigger, that means that star has to be closer to Earth. Before Edwin Hubble's discovery, this is what the entire universe was thought to be, just the Milky Way galaxy. But afterwards, you can see that the universe is much bigger, expanding across trillions and trillions of light years. Edwin Hubble's discovery changed the world by giving future scientists a strong basis to work from and allowed them to gather new information every single day. Although of his fantastic work and his amazing discoveries, Edwin Hubble was not allowed to receive a Nobel Prize in physics because physics Nobel Prizes did not recognize astronomy at the time. After many years of studying at the observatory, sadly on September 28, 1953, in San Marino, California, Edwin Hubble passed away from a stroke. There was no funeral for him, and his wife has never revealed his burial site. To remember his name, NASA decided to name the most powerful telescope produced in 1990 after Hubble, and launched a telescope into space. The Hubble telescope is one of the most successful things that NASA has produced. It sends over thousands of pictures every day of space back to NASA at their headquarters. 